Oh, didn't see you there. Howdy gamers, my name is Joshua, assistant to Al Paquita Ranch, meaning that I assist anybody with whatever they need with their alpaca needs at Al Paquita. Today, life with Al Paquitas, we're going to be going over the life of the alpacas, seeing how it is to coexist with these alpacas, watch alpacas do their alpacking thing. <coughs> You're truly gonna alpaca punch in your day to day. The definition of an alpaquita is an alpaca that is dressed up, that that is clean, that has a little bow. It's a pretty little alpaca. So this is the herd that we are gonna be bringing into this new pasture. We like to do pasture rotations. And so there's nine females here and we're gonna be taking these females into that barn uh, that I was cleaning up earlier and kind of getting ready for them. We're trying to get them right in there. No, 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 no. All right, Brandon, just don't let them. Yeah, right there. There it is. Bang, we did it. We did it. Green grass, they are loving that. And a dust bath right over there. Oh, that's how they keep themselves clean. They don't get showered, they keep themselves clean by doing that right there. We have one llama on our, at our farm and that's actually the first camlid that was ever on this farm. Camlid is uh, the family where alpacas are. The camlid family you have alpacas, llamas, vicuñas, guanacos, and of course camels. So earlier I went ahead and cleaned all this out, cleaned out this guy right over here, the feeder, and I added some fresh hay. This is orchard grass, it's orchard hay, and this is brought in from Colorado. And the reason that we use it is because it provides the most nutrients to alpacas. Uh, something else that we have equipped in every single uh, barn in our farm are fans. And then here we have some fresh water for them. We built this little thing for them so that they wouldn't try to get their legs in there and try to get it all dirty. All right, so we are gonna take Ziomara into one of the stalls. I noticed she had a little tiny, tiny little white speck on her eye. Um, and so we're gonna check her out. Um, Usually what that can be is some of the, uh, she may have a little bit of parasites and they may be getting at the red blood cells and that's why the little speck turned white. Bacardi, back off. Bang, we did it. No, gentlemen. Did you ever think you were gonna be a farmer? Not at all. I was actually uh, teaching up in uh, SAISD in San Antonio. I was a high school teacher. Uh, no, I didn't think I was gonna uh, be the owner of an alpaca farm. It has been a blessing. I enjoy every minute of it, and I hope I can do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> You go right there, they go crazy. Look at it, look at it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. So that's the take. Would you guys want to feed these alpacas? I would love to. <laughs> so the reason why I love this alpaca specifically is because she just loves giving hugs. To the thing about her is she's taking the most advantage out of people to the point that people have, she's actually fallen asleep on a tour before by just laying down, eating, and then knocking out in the middle of the tour. I don't know. I don't ask. I just love her. That wraps up today's episode of Live Here at Alpaquita Ranch. Thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, social media, so you can catch everything that we got going on uh, here at the farm. Till next time. Bang, we did it. <laughs>